This is another detail from some of our projects. Uh, in this case, we have a door installed in a project in Clemson 6, and they had an issue with some metal trim coming into the reveal. And we're going to see in this video how we mitigated the risk for mold forming inside of the jam of this door. So this is the detail that we provided the builder where you see the door side detail. This is the double wall construction. Top of the screen is the outside, bottom of the screen is the inside. And we have the um, structural studs that are pointed out by the cursor here. Then we have a plywood buck connecting the, uh, the exterior studs to the interior stud here. And that is where the door is supposed to be installed. And if you can see, uh, we have some insulation here being installed over the outside of the frame of the door. We typically do that in passive house construction details because the frame uh, is the weakest part of the whole building envelope from a thermal point of view. And so with adding this couple of inches of extra insulation, we add protection, we add R value over the frame so we make the door better, uh, better performing. Now, uh, if you look at the heat flow, uh, the reason we do that, this is the intensity of the heat flow, and we can actually see the direction that the heat uh, follows. So because the frame is well insulated, then the buck becomes a source of thermal bridging. It's not as bad as steel or aluminum, but wood still uh, provides lower R value than insulation. And if you see, if we didn't have this extra piece of insulation, then the frame would be exposed to the exterior. In fact, the builder decided not to do that uh, and to have a more traditional um, install detail, which is what we are looking at right now. Uh, they went for a more traditional detail where the frame is exposed. They have some metal trim. You see the trim here, the little black line here. This is 28 gauge uh, regular steel, so galvanized steel. And in the heat flow direction, you see that the heat jumps into the jam through the uh, buck and to the outside, literally bypassing the frame because the frame has better insulation value. You see that also in the intensity of the heat flow. It, the, plywood buck in this case becomes more of a highway for heat to escape to the exterior because everything around it is insulation. Now, this is, this is what the detail was on paper, in theory. This is what the detail uh, looked like in the reality. So this is a picture of the door. And you see here the black is the metal trim that whoever installed the trim by mistake, uh, continue that all the way to the interior. And now we have steel coming all the way to the inside from the outside. Keep in mind that this is climate zone five. So it's a pretty cold, uh, mild to cold climate, but it can cause this the issue may cause uh, issue with condensation. More details, you see the trim coming in on the three side, the two gems in the head. And this is where they, they installed the drywall. Uh, so this is where the builder called us and was worried about issues with condensation and mold, which we did model. And so back to our model, uh, we now have the uh, trim, the gauge steel, the 28 gauge steel coming all the way through to the inside, to the inside of the back. This is what we drew so far. And in terms of... Um, Isotherms, you can see that the isotherms are pretty disturbed, and you can see the flow direction. It's less evident, but if we zoom in, you see that the, that 28 gauge because becomes literally a highway for the heat to escape uh, more so than it would on the plywood itself. And so this is where it becomes very problematic. It becomes problematic because the more heat it escapes to the outside, uh, the more the lower the temperature become on the inside. So when we start looking at the uh, this for condensation and mold, um, this is where we have, this is the isotherm that uh, describes mold. And we see 
here there's uh, it comes to the inside so because of this airline construction you have a double wall you have a high performance passive house window but because of this steel trim coming to the inside you will have mold uh, at the connection between the drywall and the and the door which is, is clearly not something that anybody's excited about uh, so our recommendation based on our modeling was to add half an inch of poly iso here it, it, it we were this is a project that is not pursuing full passive house certification if it was pursuing certification then they would need to uninstall the door and uh, cut the trim back but because they're not then the uh, we can live with the heat losses but we definitely want to get rid of mold um, and to get rid of the mold issue um, we recommended installing half an inch of poly iso here this is the yellow that you see here and that uh, basically slows the heat from getting into the highway of the steel gauge you see the heat flow through here is a lot slower you still have a you still have a problem uh, in that you have a lot of heat losses on the gauge so this would not meet passive house but at least we have eliminated the risk for condensation and mold in fact, when we start looking at the um, isotherms for, for mold, it's way, way, way deeper inside. Um, this is the isotherm for, for mold. It does not touch the interior surface. So this is an example of a detail that we had to figure out um, because they had some issues with the trade. This is a project in a remote area of Idaho. Uh, but with, with the help of building science, we managed to mitigate the risk for mold and now they can enjoy uh, a healthier building because the, the uh, insulation provides better thermal protection.